Hey y'all, I'm Makita. Welcome to Oh So Fly, our channel where we'll discuss a lot of sewing with a dash of mommy. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell for notifications. If you saw my sewing resolutions video, you'd know that one of my goals was to socialize more. And I wanted to do that online by just participating in more challenges. Um, so let's get into my list. The first challenge that I definitely want to do is the Make 9 challenge. A lot of makers participate in this. Pretty much in a nutshell, what you're doing is you're picking 9 items that you plan on making for the year. Some people decide on the pattern, the fabric, everything. Um, some people kind of give themselves a bit of a broad generalization. And for me, I kind of, uh, I'm a mixture of both. So here are my make nine. The first thing I want to make is the Sew Over It Ultimate Wrap Dress. I love the Ultimate Wrap Dress. I think that wrap dresses will work for me. You know, as my body shifts and changes, it's all, they are also pretty flattering on my know with my neckline so I'm really hoping that this pattern works I plan on making one in February so y'all y'all gonna see soon if it, if it work or not <laughs> next which I'm super excited about super pump is the style so me Nikki blazer I love the line drawing on this blazer I think it's chic and sexy and I, I just think it's super cute it leaves room for a lot of color blocking hopefully not hopefully I know it's gonna work I know for sure it's gonna work um, yeah I'm excited about this next on my list is the simplicity 9052 and this is a Mimi G pattern immediately when I saw this I thought about my man I thought about myself I was just like oh my god wouldn't we be so cute there's so many intricate details I haven't made a coat for myself before I need a coat for the spring so what better way than to start off with this coat. Fourth is a t-shirt. I do want a lot of my wardrobe to be me made. I wear a lot of t-shirts, so why not make them? Um, I already own a few shirt patterns. I own the Edie top from Sew so Over It, the uh, Frankie T, Talena Buttons Frankie T, Deer and Doe's, the plantain, the plantain T. I really wanted to make this because I'm interested in a few of Deer and Doe patterns, and I, I want to see if the instructions if I can follow the instructions pretty well um, I like that they have like the patch sleeves I thought that was kind of cute so these those are some ideas but mainly the first thing I'm gonna do is pattern draft the Soma swimsuit and bikini by paper cut patterns I thought this was so cute I was just like oh my gosh I love how the one piece the bottom part is a bit more high-waisted the full coverage and the blue area I like it a lot and I do I'll probably do like a mix and match of the top and bottom to start last summer me and my girls we went to Trinidad and we had a good time I'm not really like a um, matchy matchy person but I did have a swimsuit for myself and when I was purchasing things for them I purchased them two swimsuits that looked exactly alike and we were all kind of matching and I thought we looked so cute and I was just like wait a minute I sew. So 2020, um, you'll definitely see some sort of mommy and me swimsuit get up from me and my girls. Yeah. And this is what I'm going to be using. So I hope it works. Next, kind of in the realm of swimwear, I want to make the orange lingerie's Montgomery brief pattern and the orange lingerie's landstone bra. I'm excited about making this. I think it'll really challenge me. Yeah, so that's that. And now we're in the final part of the year. I want to make jeans. I already own the Mia jeans pattern from Sew so Over It. Uh, I believe it was in her City Break ebook that these jeans are in. I'm pretty sure they are. They're not as complicated as making other jeans. You don't have to do all that top stitching and pockets and all of that. So I thought it would be great to start off there see how it works out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do some sort of full butt adjustment full C adjustment I think that's what they call it so I'll be learning how to do that um, just because just based on the 
inspiration photos that I've seen and um, on this line drawing I feel like I'm gonna need a little bit of extra fabric up there <laughs> so um, once I kind of figure those out and hopefully they'll work for me I want to move on to the ginger jeans by closet case patterns everyone makes these jeans everyone talks about them <sighs> I'm excited to do it and I'm like between my jeans and my t-shirts I'm totally and completely set and my jacket I'm like totally set for the year right <laughs> so yeah that's that and speaking about jeans to my ladies out there with high booties that protrude out that go out if you have a jean pattern that you highly recommend please let me know in the comments below next I am super excited about the L'Amour dress by Charm Patterns by Gertie I think it would benefit me greatly to do a vintage inspired pattern that doesn't have vintage instructions. A lot of people that I've heard talk about sewing vintage patterns have said that they do leave out a lot of steps. I love that you can do so many different things with this outfit, like the different mix and match pieces. I have some fabric in mind and I wanna make this for the end of the year because after all my sewing in the majority of the beginning part of the year I want I really want my skills to be up so that I'm able to make something really really nice something that I love something that I'll cherish because um, I know I'm about to spend a lot of money to make the dress and I'm going to invest a lot of time in making it yeah and my final make nine is the Stella hoodie and joggers by Tilly and the buttons this seems pretty simple pretty straightforward I've wanted to make this since I own the book I like sweatpants I have gotten rid of all of my sweatpants so I of course I'm like just make your own sis make your own do some funky things um yeah so I'm excited about this so that's my make nine list I'd love to know if any of the things that I plan on making are on your list let that you know let me know in the comments and yeah so that's the first challenge that I definitely for sure am participating in next we have so my style a lot of people participate in this challenge so my style basically in a nutshell you are able to choose between two patterns every month those two patterns you do get there is a discount code on purchasing the patterns you can choose one of those patterns and then there are prizes you know pretty straightforward but I'm excited about so my style because there are unisex patterns there are men patterns there are bag patterns I think it's a pretty good variety of patterns different companies for sure I definitely want to participate in February April and then from August to December every month because there's something that I'm like oh my god I need that <laughs> uh, yeah so my style next is the black history month pattern designer challenge when I found out about this last year this is your second time doing it this is so natural so natural Dane and one so sweet and I will be sure to link everything that I'm talking about in the description box below um, but when I saw this last year I was too nervous about doing it and I wanted to make the Nikki blazer then so I'll be making the Nikki blazer this year for the Black History Month Pattern Designers Challenge. Um, basically, it's a challenge dedicated to celebrating black pattern designers. So you can, they don't necessarily have to be black independent pattern designers. You can choose from black designers, you know, throughout the big four companies. Um, but yeah. They have two different YouTube videos. One person talks about the nature of the challenge, like what do you do? And then the other lady talks about um, the prizes and so on and so forth. So I'm excited about this challenge. Me Made May. Me Made May pretty much is, um, it's your own personal challenge. You can kind of set the ground rules for how you want it to be, but it's a challenge kind of dedicating yourself to actually wearing the garments that you've taken so much time to make. Um, for me, for Me Made May, I'd like to wear at least one thing that I've made three times a week in May I think I can do it um, and if I make a coat for myself then I definitely definitely I'm like in there for me made May. <laughs> 
The next challenge I want to participate in is Sew Together for Summer. So 2020 will be the fourth year that they've been doing this, but three bloggers pretty much came together and said, let's suggest a type of garment and a whole bunch of people will sew it up for the summer. So last year was a jumpsuit. They've done uh, a shirt dress and I believe a wrap dress. So I'm excited to see what this year's garment will be. And I'm really looking forward to making something new for the summer. Finally, the last challenge per se is So Your View. So that's so Monica um, started this So Your View, So Your View challenge. And pretty much they'll choose a pattern every month and then everyone will sew up that pattern and then they kind of just feature the pattern. There'll be someone kind of taking over for Sew Your View, so they'll offer tutorials on how to do different things with the pattern. I was so in it for November. T from Crumpets Tea and Sewing, she's here on YouTube, she's also on Instagram. She was the person kind of in charge of putting things out there and I was like really like Oh my god oh my gosh oh gosh I loved all the different views I really wanted to participate but I just had so much going on so my way of participating was just watching and commenting and liking and all that good stuff so I'm excited about doing one of these months so your view so that's it for my make nine and the other challenges and forms of socializing that I'll be participating in this year um, if you plan on doing any of those please let me know in the comments below or if you've done it before and have any tips let me know in the comments below um, I'm super excited so excited for what this year has to offer don't forget to follow me on instagram that's also oh fly also oh fly on instagram hit the like button if you like it subscribe if you want to and i will see you all in my next video deuces wow that was quick <laughs>